Okay, so today's lesson is about compound experiments. Oh, my computer's slow. Um, so we need to do a little review, and I got this information on some probability from um, www.regentprep.org slash regent slash math slash events slash lssimple.htm. Um, and what it says is a single event, event involves the use of one item, such as one card being drawn, one coin being tossed, one die being rolled, or one person being chosen. So this is just a single event of probability, and you'll see why this is important in just a second when we get to the next page. So for example, what is the probability of pulling out a queen of clubs from a deck of cards? Well, there's 52 cards in a deck, there's only one queen of clubs, and so the probability of pulling out a queen of clubs is 1 out of 52. All right, and that's a single event. So now we're going to go on and talk about a compound event. And this is important because this is what we're learning about today. A compound event involves the use of two or more items. So what's the probability of drawing like a queen of clubs and a queen of hearts out of a deck of cards? So two cards being drawn, or rather than just flipping one coin, what's the probability of flipping three coins and the different combinations you can get? Again, two dice or four people being chosen. So again, a compound event involves the use of two or more items. Okay, now that's important. Okay, so here's an example, and this is right out of the book. A spinner with a sector A, B, and C is spun. So, ooh, where's my pointer? I had it out already. Okay, here it is. So here's our spinner. Okay, so there's three possible outcomes. Okay, so that's the first part. Then, what about drawing a marble from a bag that contains four red marbles and two white marbles? Okay, so those are our two, our two events. So this is our compound outcome. Okay, so let's visualize a possible outcome. So the way that we're going to do that is by drawing this little tree. So if we spin the spinner, we can get an A, a B, or we can land on A, B, or C. Now, if we pull out a marble, we can pull out a red marble or a white marble. So the different combinations are A and a red marble, or A and a white marble. And then again, another possibility would be landing on B and a red marble, and B and a white marble. Okay, so this is just us visualizing it. And this diagram right here, this is called the tree. So we're gonna come back to this a little bit later also. Okay. Now, the different compound outcomes are listed right here. So here's our tree. We're going to have, a, again, A and a red marble, A and a white marble, B and a red marble, B and a white marble, C and a red marble, C and a white marble. Those are all of the different possible outcomes that we can have. And then, again, because there are more than one, they're called compound outcomes. So that's a vocabulary word you're really going to have to know. So let's figure out how to find all the different possible compound outcomes, all right? If there are three different outcomes on this little spinner here, and there are two different outcomes from pulling this, these marbles out of the bag, because the different outcomes are you can either pull out a red marble or a white marble. So there's only two different colors that you can pull out of this bag. So in order to find the compound outcomes, all you do is multiply those two together. So the probability of the first um, event, the probability of the second event, and you get six. And this makes sense, sense because we have here they're all listed. And this is just, if you don't want to have to list them all, this is the way you're going to solve it, and it's going to be a lot faster and a lot easier. So again, all you have to do is multiply those together to find your compound outcome. Okay? Now, even though there are six possible compound outcomes, 
Not all the outcomes are equally likely. Now, you went back and watched that Brain Pop movie, and so, so you shouldn't have a little review of probability and find out what equally likely is. Now, let's go back and look at this. Take a, take a look at it. Okay, so here's our example. Here's our spinner, and if you notice, looking at the spinner, A takes up more space than B and C. A actually takes up half of that spinner. Okay, so what I did was I wrote right down here, the probability of landing on A is one half. Okay, now in the marble bag, you'll notice that there's actually four red marbles and only two white marbles. So the probability of drawing a red marble is four out of six, and you can simplify that to two out of three. All right, so again, you take the probability of each event. Okay, so here we go. If the probability of landing on A is one half, and the probability of landing on red is two thirds, to find the probability of the compound outcome landing on A and red marble, all you have to do is multiply the probabilities of each part. So I'm going to multiply one half times two thirds, and I'm going to get two sixths, which I can then simplify to one third. Okay, now let's do another one just to make sure that we're clear on this. Okay, so the probability of landing on A and drawing a red marble is one third. Okay, and do you like how I drew my little red marble out of my bag that I drew? Okay, moving on. Okay, here's our next one. What is the probability of landing on A and drawing a white marble? And here's my little white marble that came out of that bag. So there's our visual, there's our picture of it. Well, we need to find the probability of A and the probability of drawing a white marble. So here we go. The probability of landing on A, we already know is one half. I, can, I know that from previous and I know from looking at the picture. The probability of drawing the white marble is two out of six. Now I can simplify that to one third. So let me get my pen. So I can simplify that to one third. So all I need to do is multiply these across. So one times one is one and two times three is six. So the probability of landing on A and drawing out a white marble is one sixth, okay? Now on your worksheet that you're gonna have to figure out, that you're gonna solve a little bit later, I want you to figure out all of these different probabilities right here. Okay, and I did the first two for you, so you have that visual to go off of, and then I want you to find the sum of all of the probabilities. Now, your sum should equal one whole, or 100%. Okay, so that's just a little hint for you. Okay, so let's go back. Remember I said we're going to go back and revisit this tree? So this tree is something that's a really good tool for you to understand, or for you to visualize all the different compound outcome. So let's say there was something else that we were looking at. Like, what if you draw two times out of this marble bag? So you draw two times, what is the probability of each compound outcome? Now when you draw the second time, you're not going to replace the first marble. So here, I'll show you an example of that. If I take out this red marble, oh shoot, I need to ungroup these. Okay, give me a second. Come on, computer, work for me. Okay, hang on just a second. I just want to make sure I show you. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Let's say I take out my first draw is this red marble. Now, this red marble, the chances of drawing this red marble again is, or drawing a red marble is four out of six, because there's four reds and then there's two whites, so there's a total of six marbles in this bag. So if I take out this red marble, and then if I draw another um, marble out, 
let's say, what's the probability of me drawing this white marble? Well, now I only have five marbles in this bag. So the probability of me drawing this white marble is actually two out of five. Okay, so just make sure that you take that into consideration when you're solving these problems. Okay, so what um, you're going to be doing on the worksheet that you're assigned is you're going to actually solve, like we did before, all of the different possible compound outcomes, and you're going to complete this tree. So again, on your first draw, you're going to draw either a red or a white. On your second draw, you're going to draw either a red or a white, right? Those are the only two. Okay, so what are the compound outcomes? Now remember, you can check your work by multiplying together all of the different possible outcomes for the event. So right here you would have two, because you can draw a red or a white. And here, you can only, your second draw, you can only draw a red or a white, so it's going to be two. So two times two equals four. So you should have four possible compound outcomes. Okay, so again, I just drew this visual because I wanted to make sure that you understood when you do this that your first draw is going to be, you know, out of the total in here there are six. So if you take that out, it's going to be a four out of six chance. If I take this red out, it's going to be a three out of five right, because there are only three red marbles left. Okay, and that's it for today. If you have any questions, give me a call, and make sure you download your worksheet on Moodle. If you need extra help, it's all out of the book, so just go, go to um, pages 544 and 545 for extra help. Okay, and don't forget to email me the ones you need help with. Have a great day.